Hey there, fellow collector Shuki here. Uh, vlog time, the one that I said in the last one that I was going to do this week because the box was going to get here and I was here, so yay, toys. Anyway, uh, real quick, a uh, couple things that I want to address. One, the lighting is really weird because I haven't figured out how to do this properly yet. But hang in there, hang in there. Uh, but uh, besides that, I am changing things up a smidge. Uh, in terms of the endings of future reviews, I normally kind of went on for about an extra minute about everything I had already said previously, uh, and it's kind of a waste of time. So I'm going to try to truncate the end of the videos a lot more than what I usually did, so instead of a, well, I like this and this and this, and I don't like this and this and this, because that's all information that I already said previously in the friggin' video, so if you watched it, you already heard it all. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to try to limit it to a, I really like this, you should get it, or uh, this is really dumb, don't waste your money. That kind of thing. So uh, also with that in mind, the like little photo gallery things at the end of the videos, uh, probably won't be there anymore, uh, and they probably won't be on my blog either. Uh, the thing about those is just the fact that I'm not a photographer. I'm not good at photography at all. I'm also good at not po I'm most terrible at posing action figures uh, of any kind. So uh, it's just one of those things where there's a bunch of other people that do really awesome photo galleries, um, particularly of the action figure stuff, Tokunation. Uh, does a wonderful, wonderful job at their photo galleries uh, and stuff like that. So it's just something I feel like at the end of the day isn't completely necessary and it's a portion of the video that kind of doubles my filming time. So like if I spend, like on the full bottle videos, I spend maybe five to ten minutes filming it, depending on if I had to redo anything, and then about another five to ten minutes doing the photos for that if it is a longer figure video or a longer uh, like VS vehicle or something like that. Uh, that is probably 10 to 15 minutes filming and then you're looking at roughly 10 to maybe even 20 minutes doing the photos because you have to do all these different combinations and stuff and so it's just something I want to try to be able to do these videos a lot faster uh, so I have more time to do other things and I, I really do want to start planning out more of Kind of the fun, rambly videos that I got uh, cooking in the old video creative thing that is my brain. Uh, so I, I want to put a lot more focus on that. And the less time I'm doing things I'm bad at, the more time I can spend doing things I'm actually somewhat decent at. So that's the, the whole thing there. I know some people will probably miss uh, the photo galleries, but you'll still see most of the things in the photo galleries in the videos, or just watch the video. You can even freeze frame it and take a screenshot if you want, I don't care. Uh, so I just wanted to address uh, that really quick, so hopefully videos will be a little bit shorter, uh, a little bit easier for me to edit and upload and all that fun stuff. So that, and also I think I mentioned this in the last vlog when I showed off the new editing rig. Um, but I do want to try to do uh, some sort of streaming soon. It's still a little bit ways out. Still need to get a really good webcam and figure out the whole lighting situation, which I think will just end up being desk lamps on either side of the monitor. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I do want to get that going, but probably not until next month, probably after Morphicon, uh, just because I gotta get a lot of things in place first before that happens. So, uh, with that being said, I think that is everything in terms of updates I wanted to update stuff on. Yes. Uh, so, I got two boxes over here and a big box that I'm using as a footrest down there. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and crack into these. Uh, history behind these boxes that I hope don't have my address on them somewhere. Uh, there's a Bella behind me. As always, if I'm filming a vlog, there is a 9 out of 10 chance that there is a Bella behind me in some way, shape, or form. Uh, so these are two Target boxes. Uh, was it Friday night? I think it was... No, it was Sunday night. Yeah, it was It was Sunday night, I think. Uh, regardless, it maybe it was Monday night. I don't know. Time's weird. 
<laughs> Target had a thing where it was like right after midnight, they had a coupon going live that was $20 off a order of 50 or more, I think, which is a superb coupon in itself. Uh, and then they also had a coupon where you could text a number to get a much longer uh, promo code. And that promo code gave you 15% off your entire order. Uh, the glitch behind this was that you could text different codes to the number to get more and more and more 15% off codes. So normally when these kind of promotions happen, there's one singular code that anyone can text to get one 15% off coupon. Problem this time around is that there was multiple codes. And so like by the end of it, I got like six 15% off codes and then the 20 off 50 code and they stacked uh, on, on target.com. And so, like, people were going nuts over on Twitter. Uh, this was probably, I think this was live for probably a span of maybe an hour and a half, two hours maybe, um, before they finally caught on and shut the code system off. Uh, so I'm honestly surprised that they honored everything uh, to begin with because the discount some people were getting on, like, big TVs uh, and, like, PS4s and Xboxes and stuff like that was pretty pretty substantial. Uh, I didn't have money to do anything really crazy uh, like that, but I did seize the opportunity to buy a bunch of the Sentai DVDs, uh, Power Ranger trade paperbacks, and uh, a couple other things uh, in here as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, total cost of this was... By every the, the time everything was all said and done, it was about 101, and I don't remember the cost before. I'll have to go try to look, but I want to say it was a little over three, so pretty good. Uh, that box had uh, Avatar on Blu-ray because uh, I got oddly enough I got Korra on Blu-ray. Hold, hold your horses. <laughs> So here, here's Avatar on Blu-ray before I pass it along. Yay. Here we go. There. <laughs> uh, I got Korra on Blu-ray from Target for I think like $20 or yeah. something because of another price screw up. So I got Avatar and Korra from Target on Blu-ray for cheap. Uh, and also uh, Mega Ranger was in this box if you can see it because there's reflections everywhere. From my view, it looks like a big VHS. Yeah, it, it kind of does. <laughs> uh, not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, this straight up does look like a VHS. She's not kidding. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, here's Mega Ranger. Uh, wasn't a huge fan of Mega Ranger, but I do love Power Rangers in Space. So, there's that. Hey. This one's already open. Why did I do that? Alright, here's box number two. Uh, right on top, this is laid out in a really weird order. Uh, right on top is Car Ranger. It's not a VHS. Yeah. <laughs> These have the video quality of something on VHS, because 90s Japan was not the most technologically advanced in filming. Sure. But, uh, Car Ranger, Power Ranger Turbo, it's right there. Uh, next up is this big thing. Uh, this is the, this is Boom, right? Boom put this out? Yeah. Uh, the Rangers and Zords poster collection. Uh, I believe this is all... Yeah, this is all Montez art. I can see everything on the back here. So it's all the uh, issue zero, right? Issue zero helmet covers, all of the Zord covers that he did, and uh, the morph covers uh, that he did as well. So, very cool. I I have the base lineup of Rangers, but I don't own the covers for any of the other ones. So, uh, that was a pretty cool pickup. I believe that just came out relatively recently. Words. Uh, here's Go Go 5 on DVD or VHS, depending on how you want to look at it. Uh, a Sentai I haven't actually seen. It. Speaking of, I haven't seen Car Ranger yet either. So, these are all new ones to me, so I can actually use these DVDs. Uh, here is Ginga Man. Right there, so really cool. Um, the, you buy a whole bunch of VHSs? I'm a nostalgia nerd. Oh, okay. I don't even like nostalgia. 
Or VHS. I was like, wait, what? Okay. Or VHSs. <laughs> what did I do? Uh, so there's all that. I th I think that's it for uh, the the DVD VHSs. Uh, <laughs> uh, I already owned uh, G Ranger, Die Ranger, and Cock Ranger. Uh, I they didn't have O Ranger, otherwise I would have ordered O Ranger as well. Uh, so I picked up like the four after that. Um, I think Time Ranger just came out, and I, I was really worried. I would have pre-ordered it, but I was really worried if you put a pre-order item in there that they would have canceled it, which I think actually did happen for people that put pre-order items in there. Uh, so I didn't want to risk that, so I will just hunt Time Ranger down at a different date. Um, but everything else in here are trade paperbacks for the uh, Power Rangers comics. Uh, they're, in my opinion, the easiest way to reread any of the comics, uh, especially because I've got all of my issues uh, bagged and boarded uh, in my uh, long box. So to trying to like, like if you're trying to reread the series, it's a pain in the ass to take the bag out, take it out of the bag, read it, put it back in the bag, seal the bag, and put it back. Uh, so I think that the TPBs are a nice way of trying to go back and reread the series. Um, speaking of, this is actually not a TPB of the series, but they released the Archive Collections. Uh, and this is how they managed to put this together. I honestly have no idea. Uh, a collection of all of like the old, old, old MMPR comics from... Does it say? It was like several different uh, publishers. Uh, Marvel had it briefly. Uh, Hamilton Comics uh, had it briefly. Um, Marvel and Hamilton. So I think it's just those two. They're making a second one with uh, Zio and stuff in it because Zio had some comics. But these are all terrible, like terrible 90s comics that are absolutely, again, terrible. But uh, it's a piece of history. That this is like the first time these are all compiled together for something. So if you wanted a really thick book of absolutely horrible comics, here you go. And it's only twenty bucks normally. So even retail, that's not too bad for all this quality content. Yeah, that's it. All right, and like I said, the other ones were the TVBs for the series. Uh, this is volume two, three, four. Five, and then the pink mini series. Uh, so very cool. Um, I already had the first TPB, and I have the first one of uh, GoGo as well. So all caught up on the releases of those. Uh, I already own the Justice League vs. Marvel one, and all caught up other than O Ranger on the DVD VHSs. So really cool. Uh, it was a good catch up haul uh, for me because I've been missing out on a lot of these and to get I mean each one of these like retail is like 50 bucks uh, and you can get them on Amazon usually for 32 to 35 and I got this entire haul for 101 uh, so it was it was definitely quite the steal so for like the price of three of these I got four of them Avatar on Blu-ray the poster collection and all of these TPBs. So I am not upset in the slightest. Uh, and the fact that Target honored these, I think, is kind of incredible. And good on them for actually. It was probably easier for them just to bite the bullet and take it than to send out like thousands and thousands of, yeah, we canceled your order emails. And then answering the thousands and thousands of, well, what are you going to do to correct this emails that would follow it? So good on them. Alright, also for recent things, uh, I got Nemesis Prime in the mail, and he's technically the only thing I got on Prime Day, even though I ordered him well before Prime Day. But he was, like, advertised as a Prime Day thing, so I guess I got him for Prime Day. I don't know. I didn't order anything for Prime Day. Uh, the, the only time I've ever participated in anything related to Prime Day was last year when Prime Day, like, got totally screwed up and they started applying discounts, like, four times and I got like the uh was it Yoshi's Holy World on 3DS I think for like $10 or something insane like that that was the only time I ever participated in Prime Day I, the only time I participate in any sales is apparently when stores screw up and you get good deals that's how you do it right right 
Yeah, and it's completely irrelevant to everything, but I bought an iPad with my gift cards I got for my birthday that are no longer going to a new computer. So, hooray. Anyway, we're getting into the HLJ box now. <gasps> Bubbles! Here you go. Have fun. Uh, lots and lots and holy crap, they're so... Ah! This is why I don't ever record with an audience. I never get scared when I don't record with an audience. <laughs> Alrighty, so <laughs> in this box is... Is there anything Ryder in here besides Soto? I don't think there's anything Ryder in here besides the Soto set. Um, but all the Ultraman uh, Rube stuff and all of the uh, Lupin X and Patron X related stuff. And there's a couple Pokemon things in here too. Uh, so the real question is, is whether I got all of the stuff that involved uh, promotions and I can already tell I did not I don't think unless it fell off or is taped on there or something I think I missed out on the Ultraman one because I waited the thing about that is like the Ultraman one came out the first week of the month and then the Lupin uh, and Path Ranger stuff came out the week after and so it wasn't in my interest to ship out and then wait and then ship out again. Uh, so I just waited, and I think I, that, I think that worked not in my favor. But I don't know. We'll see in a sec. Uh, so this is a huge box. This is the Black Shinkalion, who is awesome. And if, if you buy anything from this line, buy this one, because he's got all these cool armor parts and stuff. He looks magical. Very much so. Uh, so the uh, promo for this was a uh, Shinka card for the Dragoon uh, mode, which is this one right here when he's like laying on top of the train. Uh, so I will see if I got that because there's no way of knowing without opening the box. Uh, I have to take stuff out. Why is this so complicated? You open boxes for a living. What the heck? Oh, I never open these from this angle. All right, I'm gonna. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm assume I'm assuming no on that one. Uh, there's also supposed to be one with the Shinka gear, so I guess we'll try this one. Why is it the same coloring? Can see why is it the same coloring? Because this is the bad guys. Oh, okay. This is the bad guys Shinka gear, and that's the bad guys Shinkalian. So they got a match. They got a match because it goes with each okay. other. I just wanted to make sure. Well, there it is. I found it. Yay, I got one. Uh, so I don't think the Black Shinkalion had one. I could have just missed it. This one was tucked away in, like, the anus of this box. Wait, what's this one? But, uh, what was that one? That one? Those are the cards that come with this one. Oh, okay. But this is a promotion card. I'll show that off in this video for the Black uh, Shinka gear. Just because this doesn't do anything with the actual trains, so it made sense that I got it with this one. But uh, so I was hoping one of the two would have it, and like I said, I could have missed it in the other box. I guess this goes to the other box. Oh, I made a mess. Yes. All right. So one one for one, I guess. Um, I will get the pain out of the way and go. Hey, look! Here's the Rube Gyro, and I did not get it for this one. So. Sucks to be me, because it was an orb one, and I love orb, so that sucks. But anyway, I got, oh, Nemesis Prime, you fell down. Alright, so, that sucks, a little bitter, but hey, it's fine, it's whatever. They don't normally sell out of the Ultraman ones that quickly. Uh, that was the only thing that kind of got me, is I thought I'd have more time. Because uh, the, the Ultraman ones usually stay for a while, because I remember I ordered, or shipped the uh, King Sword out really late. For Jeed, and I still got the promotion for that, but I didn't for this one. And I would check inside, but I know it was shrink wrapped uh, for this one, so I did not get it for that unless it's in the box somewhere. Um, and here is the Exchanger for Loop Ranger versus Path Ranger, his transformation device, and also his robot that combines with these guys the fire and thunder x trains so these two combined can work with uh lupin kaiser and to make lupin kaiser and pato kaiser trains 
And then it can also combine with the X-Changer to form the robots that are right there. Uh, X-Emperor slash and X-Emperor Gunner? I think, yeah, Gunner. Yeah, they're over here too. So pretty cool stuff. I'm actually excited to play with this because it's a, it's a toy that looked really bad from pictures, but I've heard from people that got theirs already that's actually quite fun to play with. So uh, that's always a plus. Um, concluding the Rube stuff, here's like they put this little thing on here. Like that's actually going to kind of make a difference. Well, it actually kind of looks like a DVD case. But the first crystal set for Ultraman Rube. This has Jeed Primitive, uh, Ultra Seven. Uh, Grigio, Bone, and Black King. Does this want to focus? Probably not. But hey, hey look, here's Rube stuff. Yay. Uh, so those will be coming soon. Um, lots of vinyls. Lots of vinyls. Here is the Soto set that I was talking about. This one it has uh, Evel in, I think it's just the Cobra form. And then set 11 has the parts for, oh no, 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 no. The parts are in here, I think. Yeah. So he's got uh, like a body part and then like an option part set. So you can make like all the different Evil forms from this box. It also has another rendition of Hazard uh, for uh, Hawk Gatling and Kaizoku Uresha, as well as Kujira Jet and Kirin Cyclone build forms. So I think everything is done with this set in terms of normal build forms, I believe. Uh, so that's neat. Uh, in terms of vinyls, you got Pateran X and Lupin X. And then we have, which one is this? Uh, Rosso Flame and Blue Aqua. And then alongside those two, you also have the alternatives of their forms. So you have Blue in his flame form and Rosso in his aqua form when they swap crystals. And the rest is Pokemon stuff. Um, not going to show that because that's a gift and a surprise. But I got a little Snorlax. He was like $3. They're adorable. Wait, what? Look at how adorable he is. Oh my god. Is, does he have magnetic hands? He totally looks like I don't anything. think so. You can, you, can, you can take a look at that. But we have a Pikachu and Eevee set. We have a Zorora set. The set, it's one guy, so it's not a set. I don't know what I'm talking about. And then uh, these three are from, I think, the Ultra Recon arc in the anime. The dub hasn't gotten that far yet. But we got uh, Lycanroc in the Dusk form. As well as Pikachu and Alolan Vulpix, aka Snowy, uh, with their little badge ribbon thingies on. So yay, Moncali Moncali is fun to collect because it's super cheap. Like each of these is only a couple dollars. So, uh, and that is that. So the Rube Crystal wasn't hiding anywhere. Um, I guess small chance they shoved it in the box and retaped it. I don't know. I'll take a look later. It's not a big deal. Uh, those kind of gimmick things don't seem to go for too much on the aftermarket. That's what it suggests to do. It suggests to hold your pen. I will never lose or a pen. Or set it on a chair to pose. Or to shove it in a cup. Shove it in a cup. That sounds sounds like a fantastic thing to do. See, shove it, shove it in a cup and call it a day. These are adorable though. <laughs> Tarts! Oh, Taco Tomy, you are a, you are a gift. So anyway, that is that. Uh, lot, lots of stuff to get to. Lots of exciting things to get to, though. Uh, definitely very eager to look at the X-Changer stuff, and I've seen a lot of videos on the Rube stuff, and I'm definitely looking forward to taking a look at those. Uh, but definitely going to open these uh, first. So, good times ahead. Yeah. And I, I, I did successfully edit a video with Premiere, so thumbs up. I think I kind of know what I'm doing now, so hooray. 
but uh, we'll see what happens. I got a lot of sh stuff in front of me. Haha! -ha. So that about does it. Any questions? Uh, let me know what you want to see first, because uh, I actually don't have an order preference on what I film first. So, if you want me to get to Ultraman stuff first, Lupin Pot stuff, Shikalian stuff? I don't know. Let me know. Comments down below. All that fun stuff. If you have any questions, drop them down there as well. So that about does it for this vlog. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I kind of said that already, but whatever. Uh, so as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great one. Bye. Oh, no. I'd like to thank Mike, Joey, Joe, John, Josh, VZ17, and all my fans who support me on Patreon.